It's Christmas. You know what that means? Time to fatten up and wear the Christmas jumpers. Char Siu Christmas ham. That's what we're making today. It's gonna be good. You ready? I've got a, a half ham here on the bone. Try and get the on the bone one if you can, taste better. All we're gonna do is get our knife and start to cut just under the fat. You can see the fat starts here. So we'll just get our knife and just put the tip of it underneath the fat. So you should be able to see your knife just under the skin and just delicately take off just the skin, just very lightly. We're going as close to that skin as we can. This is like smoky and delicious. Peen ham soup, a risotto. I mean, there's a million things you can do with that. Don't chuck it out. I'm gonna trim around the top and clean the bone up. Make a cut all the way around with your knife. Join it up on the other side. Where the cut is, put your knife in and just run it up the bone. All we're doing here is just making it look better. So you can see where it naturally sort of comes to a knuckle and that's where we're gonna saw it off. This is a meat saw. You can use a regular saw from the hardware store. So now we can get the back of our knife and just trim all the way down. Now, all of these little tasty bits here, I'm gonna use in a second. Let's get our scraps and reserve them for later. Now, what we wanna do is cut into the fat, right? So we want that sort of traditional crisscross. So you wanna go quite deep. Get in there and give it a good deep score straight through the fat. And you wanna do it all the way around, okay? Pop it in the oven, 240 degrees for around 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So now we've got some of these crazy delicious looking bits. I'm just gonna cut them up into hunks because once we've made the marinade, we're gonna soak these in the marinade and then put them in the oven as little chef Scooby snacks. Soy sauce. We've got some oyster sauce, some red bean curd, fermented bean curd, properly delicious. Then we've got some spices. So we've got some chili, some Chinese five spice, and then we've got red rice and carmine. Okay, next up, we need some ginger and also some garlic, a couple of cloves, cooking wine, Chaoxing. We want this to be smooth as possible, so now's a good time. Just give it a few minutes, you know what I mean? Blend it, you can do it in a, a food processor if you like, into a pot. Into that mix, we're gonna add our sugar and some maltose. Now you can buy maltose in any Asian grocer, get it, it makes all the difference if you're doing any kind of char soup. So I'm just gonna let this simmer. Every now and again, a little sugar and a little stir. Okay, let's check a ham. All of that is gonna hold our marinade. What we need is a little bit more color on that side. So we'll pop it back in. So have a look at this now. We've got some rapid boiling going on. So we wanna reduce it so as it's quite thick. The thicker it is, the more it's gonna to stick to our ham and that's what we're looking for. Okay. I'm just gonna get the brush and stick it in everywhere I possibly can. What we have here is a high sugar situation. Because of that, we're gonna pop some water in the tray so as we don't have massive fire inside our oven because that is exactly what will happen. Okay, a little bit of tin foil just to cover our bone there at the top. Then we're gonna put a little bit of water, as I say, in our tray. Lastly, our sneaky, sneaky bits in the pot. Give my sugar. These you're gonna eat before anyone else has a chance to go anywhere near it, right? These are for you, right? These little tasty treats. So get these on your tray. These are gonna cook and caramelize obviously much faster than the ham itself, which means you can have a tasty little snack while you're waiting. Okay, so we're gonna baste that roughly every five or 10 minutes. Just think about it. The more layers of the char siu based marinade that goes onto that ham, the more delicious it's gonna be, right? So every five or 10 minutes, get it out, brush loads of that marinade, get it in all the cracks, pop it back in the oven, do it as many times as you can or as many times as you can get out the remaining marinade. Look at this. Like all char siu, you want the crispy kind of burnt edges. There's a lot of sugar in it. So the bitterness of the extra caramelized, slightly burnt bits offsets the sweetness of that marinade. So just to finish this off now, what we need to do 
is give it one final bestie bestie. That looks stunning. We're gonna have a look at our tasty treat. Oh, I'm salivating. This beats even my marmalade Christmas ham. I think this tops it. Wow. And then obviously when we cut into this, you're just gonna have a glorious amount of marinade on the outside. Plus you're gonna have this amazing, juicy, tender ham. There you go, it's my Chasu Christmas ham. And you know what, who doesn't want some of this in their life this Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually wanna see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.